Hi, good morning, second graders. Today is Monday, April 6th, and I am so excited to be here with you again. It's been such a long time since I've seen you, and I miss you guys so much, but I hope that I get to see you again soon. So we're going to start some online learning this week. And one thing that you're going to be using a lot during online learning is Google Classroom. So if you haven't already, make sure that you've signed up for your account. And I sent you directions how to do this in Class Dojo. So check your messages. So every day when you log on, you're going to go on to Google Classroom. Let me find mine. Okay. So this is what our Google Classroom looks like. Welcome back. All your assignments are going to be posted here, and then I'm going to post announcements here. So every day, you are going to check your daily checklist, and I posted this right here if you want to look at it. You can click on it, and it'll take you here. So when you log in, the first thing you're going to do is the morning meeting question. And this is just a question that you're going to answer, and your answer is going to go directly to me. So it's not going to be shared with anybody else, just with me, so I can kind of check in on you and see how you're doing. And that question is going to be posted with your assignments. It's going to pop up here every day a new question, so make sure that you're submitting that. Once you've finished your question, you're going to watch your teacher's video about your day. So Here's the video for today. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to be doing today. Along with the video, you're going to open the Google Slides for the day and complete the activities. So your Google Slides are going to pop up here in Announcements, and you can click on those, and it will also show you what you're going to do for the day. When you're done with the Google Slides, you're going to check back in the Google Classroom homepage for any other assignments that need to be completed. So some days you might have a question that you need to answer, and that's going to be right here with your other assignments. Now at the bottom of this page, it says that if you need help, I'm going to be available daily from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. to noon, where you can ask me questions. And the way that you can ask me questions is by going to Google Classroom and commenting on a post. So when I post the slides for the day, you can ask the questions down in the comment box. You can ask me any question that you want. And if it's between 9 a.m. and noon, I will answer right away because I'll be at my computer. If it's in the afternoon, I might not answer as quickly because I have a lot of meetings that I have to do in the afternoon, but I will try my best. So let's get started for today. Here are our slides for today. Okay, whoa, I'm gonna go to slide one. Good morning, second graders. You're gonna see this at the beginning of every slideshow. Today is Monday, April 6th. So we're gonna start with reading. Today's reading goals are gonna to be to analyze an image in a text to gain more information, make connections between images in a text, explain how images help us better understand the text, ooh, and read for 30 minutes. So at the end of reading every day, you're gonna be reading for 30 minutes. The materials that you're gonna need are the surface of the earth text, and that can be found in your learning packet. You should have gotten this mailed to you, but if for some reason you don't have it yet, it's linked right at the bottom. You're also gonna need a paper, a pencil, and a highlighter, colored pencil, crayon, marker, whatever you have, and then your independent reading books. So before reading this text, I want you to take a picture walk. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Just like we do at school. While you're reading, you're gonna read this two times. Not one time, two times. The first time you read, you're gonna look for interesting details and you're gonna mark them with a little star. The second time you read, you're gonna look for earth changes. You're going to mark the fast changes with an F. And remember, fast changes are things that change the earth really quickly, like earthquakes. And you're going to mark the slow changes with an S. We talked about fast and slow changes a while ago. So the slow changes are like erosion and weathering. They change the earth very slowly. After you read, you have one question to answer, and you can answer this in your packet. 
Can you list any ways that you have changed the surface of the earth? And I want to go back to this slide quick. I'm going to add another video of myself reading this text so you can complete it like a shared reading if you want to. So remember shared reading is you're trying to read with the teacher and you're following along in your text because this text is a little hard and it's okay if you need some help. So after you're done with that, you are going to find a comfy spot, set a timer for 30 minutes and begin reading. If you don't have a timer, just start reading. Your purpose for reading today is to have fun. All right, that wraps up reading for the day. For math, your goal is to fluently add and subtract within 100 using flexible strategies. And flexible strategies are just the strategies that we learned earlier in the year to add and subtract. So I really want you to practice those. The materials that you're gonna need are the digit cards from the take home packet. So this take home packet you should have gotten right when we started our online learning. It has a bunch of different resources in it. In the front it has some reading resources and then in the back of the packet it has math resources. You need to find the digit cards, which are just number cards. You're gonna cut them up and then you're gonna keep them. You're gonna use these for different lessons to so make sure that you keep them. If you can't find your take home packet, I've linked one right here. You're also going to need the Make 100 Game Board. So in math today, your first thing you're going to do is you're going to play Make 100. If you need a challenge, you're going to play Make 1000. And then after that, you're going to practice your math fact cards. So on this slide, there's a video on how to play the game Make 100. And there's also written directions right here. There we go. So this is a Make 100 game board. It's an example. And then here are some blank ones for you to play with. If you're playing online, you can also play in your packet. And then here's the Make 1000 game board. After that, after you practice your math fact cards, you're done for the day. So make sure that when you're finished with the slides, you check back into Google Classroom to see if there are any other assignments that you need to do for the day. And I think that's it. Remember, if you have any questions, comment on a post in Google Classroom and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Have a great day of learning, try your best, and I will see you again tomorrow.